Hi everybody, we want to help you come into repentance, turning to God, restoration, and revival. Christian Church. And this is Pauline Walton, who leads up City Gate Prayer. You know, we want to help you to come into repentance, turning back to God, to really connect with God, restoration, a spirit, soul, and body, and even into revival, both personally, your family, the church in general, and Cork City. We want to see God moving in this city and in your life. And to do that, one of the things is, is to establish the discipleship practice of prayer, prayer and fasting. So we're calling the church to 21 days of prayer and fasting so that 2019 will even be better than 2018, that we would stand tall and stand strong. And one of the ways we stand tall and stand strong is by kneeling before the King, by which we are connecting with God in conversation. We're breathing out what's inside us and just calling out to God and also breathing in what God wants to bring into our lives in a conversation, a living breath. Jesus said, when you pray, not if you pray, but when you pray. We see this in Matthew chapter 6 and all these teaching about spiritual life and prayer and living out the Christian life. When you pray, pray like this. So it's something we're called to do as disciples. And he also said, when you fast, not if you fast, but when you fast. This is one of the hidden gems of Christian discipleship. And I would also like to say is this, is there's something about prayer that things won't happen unless we pray. There, God wants to do stuff, but it's when we pray and ask him, that's when he has the invitation to in, welcome and invade our lives with his kingdom. And also there's something when we couple that with fasting, it it supercharges it. There's some things that will not move out of our lives, will not move out of our cities, will not move out of our churches. Some things of darkness will not move unless we also couple our prayer with fasting. And so we want to do that. And City Gate Prayer, we're joining with them as well. Yes, amen, amen. You know, in Chronicles it says, um, if my people who are called by my name uh, humble themselves and pray. And um, David in the Psalm says, I humbled myself with prayer, with fasting. He said, I humbled myself with fasting. And in Ezra, he said, I proclaimed um, a fast because he wanted the people to humble themselves before their God. So humbling ourselves is part of, fasting is part of humbling ourselves. So yeah, prayer and fasting come together. Well, so we want to encourage you to do this and doing it together, you know. <laughs> Praying together is good. And praying in unison together when two or three are gathered in his name. There's power in that, praying together. And not only fasting together, helping us, encouraging one another to continue on. Jesus wants to build a church, a people of God, both in our local churches, in our lives, in our families, and even in this city. A place where it's a house of prayer. That we'd be known for that. So sign up for 21 days of prayer. Now if you want to sign up, you will see the phone number underneath there. You'll see my phone number first coming up there, right there. Text straight away or phone up the other phone number that's coming up there as well Pauline's phone number for City Gate Prayer uh, sign up if you're part of Good News Christian Church or part of the Four Square family and there's some people already signed up even from other churches or if you're part of City Gate Prayer yes Sign up there. We want to encourage you to do this. And what will happen is this, is when you sign up, if you send us your name, send us your phone number, and send us your email address. And what we want to do is send you some text messages. We want to send you some emails and hopefully some video links as well to encourage you to 21 days of prayer and fasting. Now, when we say fasting, I just want to let you know what we mean by that. We mean going without food drinking plenty of water, maybe having tea, but going without food and helping to break even some food issues and stuff like that we sometimes have. Humbling ourselves, as Pauline was saying there, humbling ourselves before God, saying, God, I need you more than I need food. So it's going without food. Now, maybe you can't do 21 days. Maybe you've never fasted in your life. Consider doing a 10-day fast. Consider doing a 7-day fast. Or consider what some people are doing is a three-day fast each week over the three weeks. Three days one week, three days another week, and then three days another week over the whole 21 days. Or some people are considering to do a one-day fast one week, one-day fast another week, another one-day fast the next week. Now, of course, be careful. If you're on medication or if you have some dietary issues already, be very careful about that. Make sure and either if you're part of Good News Christian Church, talk to me. If you're part of another church, maybe talk to your pastor. Or particularly if you're in medication, talk to your doctor. Or if you're part of City Gate Prayer, 
talk to Pauline, make sure that you're, you're covered, that you're doing it well and doing it healthy. And then also that if you do intend on fasting, coming off a fast is very important. So we want to help you with that, to do it well, to do it right, and have breakthrough so that you can also come into a place of turning fresh to God, repentance, being restored in your spirit, your soul, and body, and bringing some revival to your family, to your church, to the city. And so with that in mind, I just want to say, you know, may God bless you. And, and I pray that the spirit of, of supplication and prayer and that desire to pray would just increase in you. And I pray that you'd be blessed during this time and that you would come into that place with us to turn back to God afresh, repentance afresh, that you would get restored spirit, soul, and body, that your soul would be restored, and that we'd also bring some revival into our lives, into our churches, and into this city. So I pray that for you. Pauline, would you like to pray for the people? Yeah, just pray that, Lord God, that you would just bless the people of this city, bless the people of this nation, bless the people of our world. And Lord God, we just pray that this time, this 21 days that's coming up, Lord God, would be a time of restoration, would be a time of, of revival, Lord God, that it would just break those chains that are there. So we just, again, bless everyone in Jesus' name. And if you like this video, like it if it's on Facebook or if you're on YouTube, like it. And we want to just keep in touch with you and just be a blessing to you. God bless you. Have a great 2019. Amen.